This is the Sales Babble Podcast, episode 530. Be the seller, who cares? Welcome to Sales Babble, the podcast that shares selling secrets for non sellers. And now, your host, Pat Helmers. A number of years ago, I saw Zig Ziglar at the United Center down in Chicago. Um, Ziglar was a famous author, a salesperson, and he was a motivational speaker. And in the morning that I saw them, there were many headline speakers. He was just one of them in front of maybe 10,000 people. It was, it, was, it was a big turnout. And I remember sharing one of his favorite lines, quote, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care about them. <laughs> isn't, that a, isn't that the truth? Too often, sellers forget this. Customers have choices, and there's more competition than ever before. So how do you differentiate? It's through compassion. It's knowing what buyers truly desire, which is to have someone take away their problems. Because when prospects get the sense that you care about their problems and that you have their best interest in mind, they trust that you have the solution. That's how you stand out caring for them, taking care of them, just being a good person and showing some compassion. Why you should be the seller who cares? That's the topic for today. But before we get to today's chapter, make sure and subscribe to the podcast. That way you never miss an episode. And make sure and listen all the way to end because we have some good news this week. And now today's chapter, Compassion. If you want to earn trust, you must listen. If you want to earn faith, you must empathize with others' distress. If you want to earn loyalty, you must desire to alleviate pain with your whole heart and whole mind. Repeated sales are the fruit of repeated compassion. This key opens doors. And now today's story. As Chris qualified the prospect, Pat listened in on the call. After 10 minutes, it was clear that Lee checked all the boxes. But when Chris started explaining the product's benefits, Lee seemed bored. Pat heard this and texted Chris, ask about the consequences of the pain. After seeing the text, Chris pivoted the conversation and asked how the problem affected Lee's business. Lee gave a lengthy explanation regarding profit issues and slip schedules. Pat then texted, think empathy and compassion. Chris waited for a pause in the conversation and then commented, Wow, Lee, that's got to be painful. How long has this been going on? He sat upright and then shared a lengthy explanation listing the issues of their business. It was soon clear Lee eventually would become a new client. Good job, said Pat. You really turned that one around. Thanks, Pat, responded Chris. It was a team effort. Show kindness and mercy in your business. In the Tao Te Ching, it's written, To excel, show compassion, for with compassion comes courage. When attacked, use compassion, and none will compete with you. It is how heaven saves and guards. This is what i found, folks. When we have empathy, people will see you care. Most problems can be overcome when you care. Compassion wins loyalty and the faith that you'll fix any issues as they arise. When you care for your customers, they'll care for you. As I mentioned last week, we're starting a new segment that highlights listener achievements in the Sales Babble podcast. It's called The Good News 
Good News is a place where listeners can share and highlight good news that they have this week. And Good News could be anything, a successful initiative, a deal that was difficult to close, an award or promotion, maybe just completed some certification or a degree, or maybe you want to recognize somebody who does a phenomenal job. I was really excited by the response and I've already got some good news and I want to share them today. Our first good news comes from Anonymous. And they said, quote, I know my goals are aligned where the universe is sending me. Mahai, Chinsen Mahai, has been brought up every day for the last three days during different activities that I've been a part of. He's the reason I went to my graduate program. So the fact that everything I'm doing now keeps pointing back to his work. It's very affirming. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I don't know who sent this in, but I'm totally on top of this. I saw this guy, his name's Mahai Chinsa Mahai. I actually saw him speak at the College of DuPage um, maybe 15 years ago. He wrote a book on flow, and his research was about how, do we, how can we repeatedly have optimal experiences. It's a fascinating book. I won't go into it all right now, but it's deeply influenced me on the way that I approach work. You know, in a nutshell, it's like we're in a flow experience. You've probably heard of it being called in the zone. When we're in these experiences, we're working on stuff that it's not so hard that it's frustrating, but not so easy that it's boring. In that we keep bumping up to a problem, we overcome it. We work hard on a problem, we overcome it. And we keep doing that. And if you're in those experience, when you're, when you're in a role like that, you just want it to go on and on and on. Yeah. It's pretty cool stuff. Look it up. I'll put a link in the, in the show notes for the, for, for the book Flow by Mahai Chinsa Mahai. The next good news comes from uh, Vicki Fan, a longtime listener of the podcast, and she says, quote, the good news is that you are still out in the world making it brighter and business smarter. That was very kind of Vicki. Hey, I really appreciate it. Thank you. You know, if it wasn't for you guys, I couldn't do this show. It's the reason I, I keep showing up every Tuesday here at Sales Babble. Uh, without listeners, there'd be no need for this podcast. Um, I, re I really, really appreciate it. So I would love to hear your good news. And you're probably wondering, well, how do I do that? Well, it's really quite easy. Go to salesbabble.com. And at the top, there's a button for good news. Or you can click the Babble Me button, which has been on the website since the beginning of time. Uh, or you can message me on LinkedIn or email me at pathelmers at salesbabble.com, whatever, whatever's easier. Share your good news, and we'll share your success and congratulate you. Lastly, if you could do me a favor, if you found value in today's episode, make sure and share it with a friend, someone that you know is looking to grow their selling skills that would really help grow our community. With that said, that's all I've got for today. Until next time, take care and have a highly successful and a profitable selling day. Thank you for listening to the Sales Babble podcast. Find us at www.salesbabble.com. This is a production of Abenero Media.